Hi guys, we are going to take a look at this question. Question 4. A car accelerates from rest at 15 meters per second squared for 2 seconds. 4.1. Define the term acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Please study your definitions because they are very important. In every question, there will be at least one definition at the minimum. 4.2. Calculate the 4.2.1 distance covered by the car and 4.2.2 the velocity. So let's start with the distance, right? And this is where your formula sheet will come in handy unless you have the formula memorized. We're going to look at the motion equations. So they want the distance, right? What is distance? Distance is our x, right? They want that. So we look at the formulas that have the x. It's this one, it's that one. So it's, it's 2, 3, and 4, right? But we can't just use any one. We got to use something where the X is the only one that's missing. So let's go see what we have already. A car accelerates from rest. What does that mean? It means that it starts at zero. So initial velocity is zero. The acceleration is 15 meters per second squared and the time is two seconds. So we have initial velocity, we have acceleration and we have time. So which one of those formulas do we only have the distance that is missing and we have the rest. If you look at the second one, we have initial velocity, we have time and we have acceleration. And the only one that is missing is our distance. So that would be the most easy formula to use to find the distance, right? So I'm just going to write it down this side. So distance equals to. So please, guys, please always start with your formula. Very important. You do get a mark for it. OK, so our initial velocity is zero. Our time is 2 plus half of the acceleration is 15 and the time again is 2. So you just jot down all these little things in the letter that it, that is suitable, right? And you just type all of that into your calculator and you will get 30 meters. And that is your final answer. 30 meters. That's the distance covered by the car. 4.2.2. What is the velocity of the car? Okay. Velocity of the car. Now, what do we have? We have distance, we have initial velocity, we have acceleration, and we have time. And they want velocity. So if we have initial velocity already, they are obviously asking us here for final velocity. So we choose a formula that will have the final velocity. So you can choose the easiest formula, I say, would be the first one. Because you just jot in your initial velocity, your acceleration, and your time. And if you made a mistake in your distance, you, you don't even, you can still get the marks. You don't get part marks, you'll get full marks, right? So if we use the second formula, you don't have to use your previous answer. But it doesn't matter if you do use it. Okay, initial velocity was zero, acceleration was 15, and time was two. Jot everything in the calculator and you'll get 30 meters per second uh, to the right. Remember that velocity is a vector, so you need your measurement and your direction. Okay, perfect. Now we're just going to erase the screen and do the second half of the question. Giving you one second. Okay, second part of the question. While traveling at a constant velocity, constant velocity means acceleration is zero, of 108 kilometers per hour. When you see per hour, just keep in mind there will probably be some conversion, right? Because we don't work in hours. The driver of a car notices a sign warning motorists to keep at a safe two second following distance. At that instant, the car is 80 meters behind a truck that is also traveling at constant velocity of 90 kilometers per hour. Okay, 4.3. Explain the meaning of a safe two second following distance. What does that mean? Okay, you can put it in your own words, but essentially this is what you have to have. Okay, so when following a car or another vehicle, this motorist should keep a safe distance such that it only, it takes more than two seconds to reach the same position of the truck, in this case, in front of it, right? So essentially, the car will need two seconds to stop in an emergency and to not hit the car in front of it, all right? That's essentially what you have to have. Okay, 4.4. Now we have to calculate this two second following distance behind the truck. Okay, so I'm going to write it up here. 
So the first thing we have to do is look at the velocity that the truck is traveling at. And that is 90 kilometers per hour. We will first have to convert that into meters per second. So we take 90 kilometers divided by one hour. So what do kilometers? So what do we do there? We say 90 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 3,600. And that gives me 25 meters per second. All right. Then we go back to our motion equations and we choose one that will be comfortable for us to use. All right. So what do we have at this point? We need the distance. So we need x again. All right. So we've got to look for formulas that have x. So it will be one of these three. All right. We have acceleration, which is zero. We have initial velocity. This will be our initial velocity, which is 25 meters per second. And we have our time, which is two seconds following distance, right? So we have the same thing that we had in the previous one. So we can comfortably use the second distance a motion formula again. So we just jot in the formula again. You'll get a mark for this. Initial velocity is 25. Time is 2 plus half acceleration, which is 0 because they're traveling at constant velocity. And then time is 2 squared. Jot all of that into your calculator and you get 50 meters. So that is the distance, the two second following distance that the car must have, 50 meters. 4.5. I'm going to write at the right here. Calculate how long it will take the motorist to get to a safe two second following distance behind the truck. Okay, so now we take the car's a velocity. We change that to meters per second first. So we take 108 kilometers divided by one hour and that is 108 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 3600 and that gives us 30 meters per second. Okay, everyone have that? So that is the velocity that the car is driving at per second. So what is the difference in speed? This is the car and this is the truck. And what is the difference in speed? So difference in speed, it will be 30 minus 25. And that gives us 5 meters per second. That is the difference in speed. So the car has to travel at 30 meters per second. At 30 meters, sorry guys, at 30 meters at 5 meters per second. To be at a 2 second distance behind the truck. I'm just going to say that again. So the car has to travel 30 meters at 5 meters per second to be at a 2 second following distance behind the truck. Okay. But what do they want? They want to know how long it will take them to get to that 2 second following distance. So what do we do? Remember our distance formula. The easy one, distance, is speed times time, S times T. So our S, what was our S? Our S is our 5 meters per second. So it's 5. Our distance is 30 and our time is unknown. So we jot that, we do our little calculation, our equation, and we get 6 seconds. So it will take 6 seconds for the motorist to get to a safe 2 second following distance behind the car. And that's it guys. See ya.